optical A out on this Pro Fire 26. That's my input for my microphone there. And I had to configure that before I connect it, but it's just going out. It's not connected to the computer. It's connected to the input of the, uh, the ADAT input on the Apollo Twin X. And I'm on a Windows PC. Had to go to uh, console and went here, view, uh, I think you can actually catch it a couple ways. View, settings, hardware, there's your sample rate, clock source, ADAT. I don't think, you know, you could, like, that's, you know, you can change that there. But I don't even think you have to open that tab. I think right here, you can just go clock rate here and internal, but you have to set that to ADAT. That, that changes the clock source from the internal of the Apollo to the ADAT light pipe connection. I'm sending this thing's clock to here, and that allows me to uh, go through my ADAT channels. Hey, hey, hey. It also allows you to put uh, plug-ins on the uh, inserts just like you would. Hey, hey, hey. And I can do the comfort reverb. Sorry about the camera work. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. That was hard for me to figure out. The uh, sample rate, you know, if it's different right here, you know, you're ADAP, that's telling you you're in an error. You know, you can still go like switch here and go to internal and plug in. Your stuff would still work that's plugged into the Apollo, but none of the ADAT channels would be working. But there's my clock source. That was hard for me to figure out. I hope that's helped somebody. Another thing I ran into was when I done this, I had all kinds of pops and clicks. And the pops and clicks, the way I got rid of those was I left the Apollo on and I power cycled the M audio and that fixed the pops and clicks. And I uh, don't know if it's a permanent fix, but it, it, it fixed them. And I just got this up and running. So now I've got me, you know, the eight. So I got 10 inputs with the Apollo Twin, just the two units and presets, but you can still plug stuff into the inserts here. I hope this helps.